This is going to be a very short video about my experience this morning eating oranges. I had a meal of navel oranges. I had about five or six navel oranges around 10 a.m. It was my first meal of the day. I like to start the day off with juicy fruits. And I had this one orange in particular. I think it was the third or fourth orange I ate out of the five or six I had that it tasted so unbelievably good that I was transported to another dimension. I, I swear to God, it was a spiritual experience I had this morning. And it all came from a delicious tasting navel orange. And this isn't the first time I've had spiritual experiences with fruit. I haven't had many, I'll be honest, but every one I have had, They've all come from really obnoxiously, deliciously tasting fruit. Like the fruit tastes too good to be to be just a food. It's more than just a food. It's a it's a it's a it's a teleportation device. Like you eat this food, it tastes so unbelievably good that you get teleported to another dimension. So this morning I was eating this orange and it just I was no longer on earth. For a moment I was in heaven. And you know, I had four pieces of the orange, and each piece was insanely good. Um, and then afterwards, I was just like, "Wow, you know, this isn't just food. This is this is something else. High quality fruit. That's the name of the game. High quality fruit. You want to find high quality fruit. Get some A grade fruit. Spend a bit extra. Get some A grade fruit. You cannot succeed because you cannot enjoy." a uh, fruitarian diet when you're eating low quality fruit you gotta source up the best stuff you can the only way to do it is to get it in season when it's ripe and when it's grown with love and uh ideally in biodynamic gardens or fruit forests so do what you can to get some local ideally local if it's not local at least get it like semi-local these oranges are from California, which is about a 15-hour car drive from where I live, so relatively local. Yeah, they're across the border, but still semi-local, fruit, fruit from California. Um, they're actually these ones right here. Sunkist, Growers Inc., Valencia. Oh, they're Valencia? No, there's no way these are Valencia. These are navel. Aren't they? Am I, am I incorrect? No. Really? I think these are. I think these are navel. Correct me if I'm wrong. Post in the comments. That could be <laughs> extremely embarrassing. I for sure thought these were navels. I could be wrong. But I mean, that says Valencia right on it. Oh, my bad. Valencia, California, not Valencia oranges. Yeah, these are. These are navel. So <laughs> they got me there for a minute. You tricked me. She's laughing her way. She's laughing her way to the bank with these ones. So good. This whole box was like. $40. But yeah, end of the videos right there. If you want some uh, cool ideas for fruitarian recipes, if you're the type to mix some fruit together and you want to create some awesome fruitarian recipes, uh, the only reason you'd ever do that, by the way, the only reason you'd ever actually create a fruitarian recipe is if the fruit wasn't insanely, insanely, insanely good, like I just described. It would be um, a crime against all life itself if you were to mix that orange I was eating with anything else. Just, it was out of a scale of 1 to 10, it was like 11 out of 10. But if you have fruit that's only like a you know 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, and you're just kind of overeating it by itself and you want to mix it up a bit, I'll post a link in the description for a fruitarian ebook that you can get for free that will show you how to uh, put together some fruitarian recipes. So that's it for now. All right, peace out, much love. Have a good one. Bye.